And we are back in Nancy's neighborhood, and it's starting to cloud up a little bit out there, and I'm really glad because I planted all these flowers in front of my house uh, yesterday, and I didn't water because I kept hoping it was going to rain, so I'm still hoping it's going to rain. And, and I told you all at the very first when I interviewed Pam, we're going to, Bryce and I are going to try a little, something a little different. I'm going to do my guest first and then come on and tell you about what's happening in Cleveland, Bradley County, and that way I'm not hurrying the guest up, and, and that way also... What, however far I get through with this and my producer gives me the cut, you know, that's it, sign, it'll be all right, and I haven't made anybody upset by cutting them off. So we're going we're gonna to see how this works for a, a week or two and see what happens. But there are some things that are happening, and for you people that say there's never anything going on in Cleveland and Bradley County, I don't know what hole you're living in because I'm telling you right now, folks, there's a lot going on. You just heard Pam with Civitan come on and talk about Special Olympics this coming Saturday. Robert was on for Relay for Life to tell you all about what's going to happen the next Saturday, the 29th. And there's all kinds of other things happening now and in between. So let me start out with the library. Now, I know we have Andy Hunt on every month to tell you about it, but there's some interesting things. And, and this is one thing that I found out at the library I did not know about. Every Monday at noon, they have Coloring Corner at the Saving Grace Cafe. And you just bring your little coloring book and you just sit and color and entertain yourself. And I guess this is for children and adults, but I know that coloring is the thing now. And I have some, I have some books to color at the shop if anybody, and I have journals that you color and I have the pencils that you color with. So I know that this is the new thing to color. So every Monday at noon at the Serving Grace Cafe at the library, you can go and color and probably visit and socialize with some people. Now, at 10 o'clock on Friday, April 21st, the FOLA Book and Coffee Club, which is held in the history branch, are going to review the book Rebel Bushwhacker, which that sounds like it should be an interesting book. And what Andy always says is you don't have to have read the book to come. It's nice if you do, but you might just enjoy Cookies Coffee and somebody giving a review of Rebel Bushwhacker. Then on the 28th at 2 o'clock, they're going to have uh, the author... Wally Avet, and he'll be holding a writing workshop about the writing process. If any of you all are interested in writing a book or maybe even writing journals, uh, he will be there on the 28th at 2 p.m. Now, on Thursday the 18th, and this is a little way out, folks, but, I mean, it's getting here quicker, at 7 p.m. the evening with C.K. Phillips, and he's the author of Comes the Awakening and Echoes of Skeletons Past. I have read Comes the Awakening, and it is awesome. It's about Oak Island in Nova Scotia, and it is really, really good. And Echoes of, the, of Skeletons Past, I'm reading right now, and it's equally as good. Now, there is an admission to that. It's $15, $10 for FOLA members, and $5 for students with valid IDs. And so that is May the 18th at 7, and I'm hoping I'll be able to get there because um, I, I had Ken on the show, Ken Phillips, C.K. Phillips, and uh, he talked about his first two books, and he's in the process of getting his third book published. So I think this will be very good. And also, folks, you can just go online to clevelandlibrary.org and get updates on everything else that's happening at the library. Now, there's a campaign going on right now, and some of you may have seen the big boxes that say, Pajamas for Your Mamas. And this is something that Catherine Patton started several years ago. Her mother died young from early onset Alzheimer's. And uh, so she has started this as a, as a, not a fundraiser, but an item raiser for Alzheimer's patients and caregivers. And these boxes are located, there's one at the YMCA, Perry's Petals, Signature Healthcare, Okoy Medical, uh, The Chamber, Prestige Salon, and Public Church. And they're asking for donations of items, pajamas, slippers, blankets, household, house coats, socks, and toiletries in various sizes for men and women. And then Catherine dispenses these to Alzheimer's patients and their caregivers. So this is something, if you see one of these boxes, folks, they're pretty good sized boxes. You really can't miss them. <clears throat> Be sure you get something and make a donation. Now the Red Cross is seeking volunteers um, no, I'm sorry. They have already sought those volunteers, and, and I just now looked at the date on that, and I don't believe we can get that in. So we're going to move right on to the Polk County Ramp Festival, and that's going to be this Friday, 
at 7 p.m. at the new and the new Gap String Band and Cannon Creek are going to be playing white beans, fried potatoes, and ramps, and and ramps are onions, folks. Will be served with cornbread, and then the Saturday's events begin at 11 a.m. and go through the day with more music, and um, Main Street Cruise Ends begin this Saturday, the 22nd, one to six, around the square, and uh, it's free. And just go and look. And I had Sharon on with me last time or time before last. She said we have 500 cars down there. And so if you're interested in cars, uh, just go wander the streets and look at all these cars that are down there. Now, the Bill Norwood Veterans Service Award, that's going to be presented at the Memorial Day ceremonies on May 29th. But the nominations are due by May the 12th. And you can get those from my, my buddy Joe Davis at the uh, Brady County Veterans Affairs Office, and his phone number, 728-7149, and he's in the courthouse, so uh, you can go by and pick up, if, you've got, if you know a veteran that you would like to nominate for the Bill Norwood Service, Veterans Service Award. Now, the Tennessee Valley Railroad, and you know, I've had that gentleman on, and he's talked to us, and there's a lot, a lot of things they do. They do a Valentine trip. I don't know whether they did an Easter trip or not, but they do a Christmas trip. And right now, they've got Thomas the Train, uh, April 22nd, 23rd, 29th, 30th, and May 6th and 8th. And these are fun trips, folks, and, and very, very nice. And they're, they're wonderful folks, and, and we call them, and they made a donation to uh, Cherry's Jubilee. So that'll be in one of our event baskets will be uh, the Railroad Museum, what they've donated for us. And I think it's trip for two, and I guess you get to pick which event you want to go to. But if you are interested in this, the phone number is 866-468-7630. Now, you have until Thursday, that's the pre-K registration. It'll be held Thursday from 12 to 7 and Friday the 21st from 8 to 2 in Polk County, South Polk and Benton Elementary. If you've got a child that could go into pre-K this year, and that the child must be four before August 15th of 2017. And that's Thursday and Friday of this week, folks, from 12 to 7 and 8 to 2 at South Polk and Benton Elementary. Now, the 16th annual J.A. Bolathon is here in Cleveland. It's going to be the 27th, Thursday the 27th, at Leisure Time Bowling here in Cleveland. And I've told you, I'm bowling in it. <clears throat> well, I don't know whether I'm bowling or not, but I have a team, and I think our team's decided that We'll just enjoy the concession stand and sit and watch other people bowl. But you can sponsor me for five dollars if you'd like to. You can come by the Red Ribbon, ribbon and and give me a five give me five dollars and sponsor me. And that five dollars gives you a chance to win uh, several things in a drawing. And one of those things is a hundred dollar gift card to Ruth Chris in Chattanooga. So to me, that's worth the five dollar investment. So um, anyway, if if you're interested in sponsoring me, because our team. We had one team member that made this big challenge that everybody on the team should raise $500. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit behind on that, folks, so if anybody wants to help me out, that'd just be great. The Historic Homes Showcase is going to be on Saturday the 22nd, and the tour will give glimpses into local history and evolving architecture and design. Now, this event is sponsored by the Lee University Department of History, and the tickets are $5, and the admission will go to support the William Snell History Scholarship at Lee. Now, the way I read this in the banner, which you all know I love the banner, and I get a lot of my info from the banner, unless you call and tell me things, events that maybe aren't in the banner. Um, the tour begins at 9 a.m. at 450 Centenary Avenue, and it ends at 1 p.m., and there's four homes involved in the tour. And uh, all of these homes best I remember from reading the article, all, all of the homes are on Centenary. So that should be a pretty nice little walk for you. But uh, $5 tickets at 450 Centenary Avenue starting at 9 o'clock. <clears throat> now this is fun, and this is something that the um, USDA Forest Service and TWRA, which is Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, is hosting. It's called Kids Fishing Day. And they're going to have two, April 29th and May 20th, in the Cherokee National Forest, uh, the, the Hiawassee Ranger District. 
and uh, anglers 15 and under are invited to try their luck. And for more information, you call Bo Reynolds at 423-338-3319 or the Okoe Ranger District at 423-338-3300. And those are long distance because it's, it's over in Benton, Polk County. So 338-3319 or 338-3300. If you have an angler, a fisherman, 15 or younger who would like to participate in this. I think this would just be awesome. I really do. Empowering Women uh, Boys and Girls Club fundraiser, annual fundraiser, is at the Omega Center on the 20th. Uh, you need to call them for more information. This is something that's always fun, folks, and, and I've only been one time. The National Cornbread Festival in South Pittsburgh, and that's going to be the 29th and 30th, there's cornbread fixed every way you can imagine cornbread being fixed, and it's and there's a competition. There's vendors. There's there's all kinds of things going on. Now the Greenway Public Arts Commission is sponsoring Chalk the Walk this year at the park, and the event is the 22nd of this month, which is Saturday, and you can buy squares on the on the walk for ten dollars and draw whatever you want to. I know last year when I was running for office. I bought a square and drew my campaign sign. So you can do, you can advertise, you can do whatever you want to do, but the squares are $10 a piece. And Oak Grove Elementary will have their yard sale on May the 6th, and so you can contact Oak Grove School for more information. Now, I want to take just the last two minutes or whatever I have here. Bryce, how many minutes? Three minutes, okay. See, that's what I love about having Bryce right over there. Uh, to tell you about Cherry's Jubilee, it's coming up Friday night, the 21st. The event starts at 6 o'clock at the Museum Center. It is a fundraiser for the arts in our schools, and we bring in visiting artists, or we do $500 grants to schools that submit the grants. Uh, this, as of last year, the end of, of our event last year, we had put over $427,000 back into our schools, city and county schools, uh, to support the arts, and we hope that you will be out there to support the arts. Tickets are $25 prior to the event, 30 at the door. I will be at the Red Ribbon tomorrow, Tuesday, if you want to buy a ticket for me, or the Chamber of Commerce has the tickets. I will be at the museum on Wednesday, Thursday, getting ready for the event, and I will have tickets there. And then we'll have tickets at the door. Now, I want to remind you, this is an Allied Arts, which is a committee of the Cleveland Bradley Chamber of Commerce their event, not a museum event. So if you call the museum and ask where you can buy your ticket, they may not know what you're talking about because we just rent the facility for this event because it's a wonderful facility for us to do this. And those of you artists who have things to donate to us, we'll be there Wednesday and Thursday of this week from 10 to 5 taking in the items. 5 o'clock Thursday is the exact drop-dead cutoff because Tracy Wright will finish up our program and take it to the printer and so we will not have any time after that to be sure you get in the program. We have a lot of sponsors, and I appreciate all of them. We have five caterers, nine caterers. I'm sorry, I appreciate them. Uh, we have beverage suppliers. We have all these people that help us to make this a, a great event and help us save money, and that money we put back into the schools because our caterers all donate the food that they serve at the event. And that, the food is wonderful. If we didn't have anything else going, we have the food, and it is really great. So I do hope all of you all will be out to see us at Cherry's Jubilee. That is this coming Friday, April the 21st. The event starts at 6, and we start, live auction starts closing at 7. And uh, the, I'm sorry, the sign of auction starts closing at 7. Live auction takes place at 8 o'clock, and we, somebody asked me today what we had, and I, we never know until 5 o'clock Thursday afternoon what all's coming in. So... We appreciate all of you that support this event, and I appreciate all of you that have been with me today in Nancy's neighborhood, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.